please subscribe and support us through PayPal or a check. Dan McTague is a long-standing liberal member of parliament years and years and years ago, but he knows the party, he knows government, he joins me right now. Mr. Kretchen's chief of staff has now said Trudeau has to go. Trudeau has now carved out a policy which is diminishing his own policy on carbon fighting to try to give a break to some, some people, small percentage, in Atlantic Canada. It just seems that things are falling apart for him. Do you agree? Oh, I think he's alienated everyone, including his own base. Those who are carbon purists and say, yes, you must impose and get your money back, as we've been told by the government, you get more money back than what you which actually pay into, it, which we know not to be true. tax, you get more money back. And even the Bank of Canada fell for that as well and said there's no inflation, but it's now had to swallow itself whole. I digress. The reality, I think, is that this has now created uh, uh, rancor, uh, again, division within the country, and premiers rightly saying, if you're going to allow an exemption, for a region that uses a particular product that is far more emissions intensive, then we should get a break for those who are using which, propane which or natural gas. Which makes perfect sense. Yeah. And yet, you know, uh, with, with home heating, oil, it's only 1% of the emissions of the total country. So yes, we're burning natural gas. The West should get a break just like the East, but he doesn't seem to understand that. But there, let's come back to Ontario, your home province, and saying a lot of people use heating oil in Ontario, but also a lot of people use natural gas. So we may get it both ways, he may get whipsawed. Yeah, I don't see anybody using natural gas as the temperature is starting to drop, as we're starting to have to turn on those uh, those heaters. Uh, we're seeing, you know, 12.38 cents uh, per cubic meter, wind up costing you an extra three, four hundred dollars a year, increasing more and more every year. People are going to say, if it's true for those in Newfoundland and Nova Scotia and they get a break, we deserve a break as well. Better yet, let's just scrap the whole idea altogether and start with a uh, with brand new plan. For the Liberals, it's their signature platform uh, policy. And the fact that it has completely hit the wall uh, suggests that uh, it isn't just about the Liberals having trouble. We're seeing this in the polls. They're about to lose the next election. Uh, the policy itself is in very significant and serious trouble. How did the Liberal Party, and you have myself and also other people saying that this government has to go, Trudeau has to go. Yeah. How has this happened to Trudeau? You knew what the party was. I'm surprised it took them this long. Uh, they knew this was going to happen. They chose to ignore work that we did at Canadians for Affordable Energy, telling them that the affordability and energy costs going through the roof would be a primary you know, uh, promoter of uh, an affordability in this country for a lot of people. And yep. as a result, the polls since July, almost at the exact moment that the federal car two carbon taxes, clean fuel standard and the carbon tax first. hit, I, and I predicted it, uh, you know, the, since then we've seen the fur fly and uh, the liberal numbers have dropped and in places where they expect and have to hold on to those votes, they're losing them en masse. I think for the next election, the Liberals would be lucky at this point to hold on to 40 seats. Whoa, Dan McKay, three minutes. Thank you very much. Liberties and freedom of speech are under attack in Canada like never before. So let's keep this discussion on the air. PayPal, write a check, and please include your address so I can write a thank you letter to you. And ask your friends, please subscribe. It's important to keep this on the air. And thank you. <laughs>